Hello, I'm Katie, your safety trainer, and welcome to today's video where we're going to delve into the world of welding. It's a process used by many different companies to either create new products or repair existing ones by attaching one piece of metal to another. Now, while there are various methods of welding, it's crucial to understand that mishandling the equipment can put you and your colleagues at risk. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the different types of welding, the potential hazards that come with it, the personal protective equipment you need to stay safe, and the essential safe work practices that should always be on your mind when working with welding equipment. So let's get started and ensure everyone's safety in the world of welding. So let's talk shop when it comes to welding. Welding is a versatile craft, and there are numerous techniques you can use to join metals, whether you're creating something new or fixing up equipment. These methods include subfamiliar names like MIG welding, where a wire electrode does the trick, and arc and stick welding, where an electric arc and consumable electrode come into play. Then there's TIG welding, a precise art that uses a tungsten electrode and a separate filler material to create clean, meticulous welds. Enjoying this safety video? There's more where that came from on Got Safety Light. Sign up for free and gain access to our library of over 1,800 safety videos. If we don't have the lesson you're looking for, we'll make it at no cost. Click the link to sign up today. Plasma arc welding, on the other hand, harnesses the power of a focused plasma arc for precision work. If you're into high-tech stuff, you might encounter electron beam welding, which relies on high-velocity electrons to get metals to meld, or perhaps laser welding as your thing, with its ultra-precise laser beams for those jobs where precision is paramount. Atomic hydrogen welding is another method in the welding arsenal, known for its clean and efficient process. And of course, there's the classic oxyacetylene welding, where the timeless combination of oxygen and acetylene gases creates a super-hot flame to melt and bond metals. These are just some of the welding techniques you might encounter. If you're interested in digging deeper into any of these methods, we've got dedicated lessons like welding, handheld laser welding safety, welding hot air welding, welding spot welding safety, and welding TIG welding safety to help you master the intricacies of each. So whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, there's always something new to learn in the world of welding. When you're in the welding zone, it's crucial to be aware of potential hazards that you and those around you could face. Here's a rundown of what's on the watch list. First up, there's the risk of respiratory irritation or damage. That can happen from exposure to fumes and gases that the welding process can produce. Breathing in these substances can be harmful, so proper ventilation and respiratory protection are key. Then there's the matter of your eyes. Sparks, debris, and slag could be pesky troublemakers, potentially causing eye irritation or even damage. So those safety goggles or welding helmets are your best friends. Ever heard of welder's flash? It's no fun. This condition can occur from exposure to the bright arcs produced during welding, causing painful eye discomfort. That's why eye protection is a must. Welding can get hot, and that means the risk of burns is real, whether it's making skin contact with heated materials or getting exposed to the ultraviolet radiation emitted during welding. Burn prevention is crucial. Don't forget about your ears. Excessive noise during welding can lead to hearing loss or damage over time, so don't skimp on the hearing protection. Now here's a scary one, fire or explosion. Sparks can ignite flammable or combustible materials nearby, so it's vital to keep a safe distance from anything that could catch fire. Electric shock or electrocution is a risk if the welder isn't properly grounded or if you accidentally touch a part of the welding or electrode circuit. Electrical safety is paramount. Lastly, watch out for sharp edges on materials. Handling them without care can lead to cuts or lacerations. Safety gloves are a must have in this case. These are the real world hazards that come with welding, so always be vigilant and ensure you're well equipped to handle them safely. When it comes to welding, the right gear is your shield against potential accidents or injuries. To ensure you're well protected, make sure to wear the appropriate personal protective equipment, or PPE, that matches the welding method you're using. Here's a checklist of what your PPE might include. A trusty welder's cap is a good place to start, keeping your head protected from sparks and heat. Then you'll definitely need safety glasses or goggles to shield your eyes from any flying debris. You might also use a handheld shield for extra protection. Considering the noise levels in welding, don't forget hearing protection. Your ears will thank you in the long run. Now let's talk about your clothing. A welder's jacket and flame-resistant attire are vital to prevent burns. 
Natural fiber clothing is recommended as synthetic materials can melt under high heat. When it comes to your hands, welding gloves are essential for protecting against burns and sparks. In some cases, you might need cut-resistant gloves for added safety. Your feet need attention too, so still-toed boots are a must. They provide protection against heavy objects and potential foot injuries. If you're working in environments with fumes and gases, a respirator should be part of your PPE kit. Before you gear up, always inspect your PPE for any signs of wear or damage. If something looks off, don't hesitate to report it to your supervisor. Wearing damaged PPE is a big no-no and can compromise your safety. Remember, wearing the right PPE isn't just about following the rules, it's about safeguarding yourself from potential welding hazards. Safety is the name of the game when it comes to welding, and that means taking some essential precautions before you even strike an arc. Here's a checklist to ensure everything is in order. Let's talk about attire. Remove all jewelry and tie back long hair. Make sure your pants and shirt cuffs are rolled down to prevent sparks from sneaking in. Before you dive in, give the manufacturer provided owner's or operator's manual for your welder a good read. You need to know your equipment inside out. Inspect your welder and its attachments meticulously. Look for any signs of wear or damage. If something doesn't look right, report it to your supervisor. Using damaged equipment is a safety risk. Safety and warning labels on your equipment should be in good shape and legible. Ensure all guards are in place and properly secured. If any had to be removed for maintenance, make sure they're back where they belong before you start welding. Check the area where you'll be welding for anything flammable or combustible. If you can, move them away from your workspace following company policies. If that's not possible, make sure they're covered with flame-resistant materials. And always have a fire extinguisher close by. If required, set up a fire watch according to company procedures. Inspect any compressed gas cylinders for leaks or damage. If you find any, report it immediately and never use a leaking or damaged cylinder for welding. Make sure they're properly secured too. If ventilation equipment is part of your setup, make sure it's working as it should. Report any issues and don't use faulty ventilation equipment. Lastly, if you're using welding screens, set them up according to your company's procedures. For more details on welding screens, check out our lesson, Welding, Welding Screens and Curtains. Taking these precautions before you start welding will go a long way in keeping you and your workspace safe. When you're in the welding zone, safety remains top priority. Here's what you should keep in mind during the welding process. First and foremost, only trained and authorized employees should be wielding the welding equipment. No exceptions. And let's make it clear, welding under the influence of drugs or alcohol is an absolute no-go. If you're on prescription meds that could affect your welding abilities, be sure to have a chat with your supervisor. Communication is key. Make sure your coworkers are aware of where welding will be happening. If they need to be in the area, they should be wearing the right PPE to stay protected. Before you start welding, ensure that the pieces you're working on are clean, following your company's policies and procedures. Proper cleaning is crucial for a strong weld. Grounding is essential for safety. Ensure that welders are properly grounded as per the manufacturer's instructions and your company's policies. Always stick to the manufacturer's instructions and your company's procedures when using the welder. Weld in well-ventilated areas to keep fumes at bay and keep it dry. Welding in wet areas requires special preparation following company policies. Here's a key safety tip. Keep your head out of welding fumes. Breathing in those fumes isn't healthy. When you're handling heated materials, exercise caution. If possible, let work pieces cool down before touching them and never handle them with your bare hands. Don't touch electrodes or circuits during the welding process. These parts can be dangerous. Once you're finished, make sure to turn off and unplug the welder following your company's procedures. Safety should always be the last thing on your mind as you wrap up your work. In summary, welding is a vital process used by companies to create and repair products and equipment. However, it's essential to recognize that working with welding equipment and processes carries inherent risks. To ensure your safety and that of your colleagues, it's crucial to use welders following the manufacturer's instructions and your company's established safety protocols. If you ever have any questions or concerns about welding practices in your facility, don't hesitate to reach out to your supervisor for guidance. That wraps up today's lesson. If you found this video helpful, be sure to connect with us on social media. And most importantly, always keep safety at the forefront of your work. Until next time, stay safe out there. <laughs>